Not dead yet. Let's do this. Alrighty, this is uh, one I'm excited for. Okay, this is where the, the idea for this channel actually came about. Yeah, when I was younger, I used to skateboard. And if you want to know what was going on around when I was doing it, I got into skateboarding with the Bones Brigade and Search for Animal Chin and, and that sort of stuff. You know, where you had Tony Hawk, uh, Steve Caballero, Caballero, Lance Mountain, Tommy Guerrero, Mike McGill, and all those guys. And yeah, so the, the tricks back then weren't, um, they weren't anything like today. The ones that were doing things like what people do today were people like uh, Rodney Mullen and uh, Volanda. Uh, however you pronounce his name properly. They were part of the Bones Brigade too. Um, but they were the ones doing all the flashy stuff. So, late 80s, early 90s was when I was skating as a kid. And yeah, so the tricks that they do today weren't even on the radar. Uh, when I was, where I sort of stopped skateboarding, uh, that was, yeah, the kickflip was a big thing. If you could kickflip, that was huge. Uh, and I, I never could do it. I, I never got to that stage. Uh, now keep in mind, the boards were a lot wider. They were huge, which I'll show you on the screen. Um, what I'm gonna show you on the screen is my Tony Hawk board and my Chris Miller board. And Chris Miller board, as you can see, has that really pointy bit and that was actually a huge thing because the nose was so steep um, at the time. You, you know, that would, it was just like that little bit that was hung over the trucks was so steep for its time. Nobody ever seen that. And it was just like, whoa. And that was a big deal. And of course, the, my favorite skater was Tony Hawk, obviously. I've been a fan of his since I first started skateboarding. And he was like the young, no, he wasn't the youngest member because I think Tommy Guerrero was younger than him. <coughs> um, but yeah, so that's how long ago it's been since I skated. Every now and again I'd jump on a board. Um, you know, I'd do an ollie or something, but I haven't been able to really skate. And between that, uh, between issues I've talked about with my knees and, and my back and that, um, and also being a musician, uh, my music was starting to take off a bit more and I couldn't injure my hands because if I couldn't play I couldn't work um, Well COVID's changed all that. I, yeah, I still play guitar and I still work as a musician But I do a lot of singing and I'm just gonna be more careful with my hands <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm showing photos here. I know uh, of You know what it was like back in the day when I was skateboarding uh, and I'm showing you some pictures of friends skateboarding in New Zealand and all that sort of stuff and yeah it's pretty look back at it now it'd be pretty nerdy compared to kids today oh my god the you know but look the skating community is unreal um, and where what started this idea with the channel was about a week and a half ago I stumbled across this channel called Braille Brow skateboarding. And I love the message. Like at first I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, who, who are these guys? <laughs> you know, just a couple of the videos I was I saw, I was like, oh Kidogi, WTF. Um <laughs> and it was like, wow, but the more I watched it, I love their message. And it was just you know, the message of just get people to skate. You know, show people because that's that's the skating community. It's always been supportive as far as I've known it. Yeah, there's been some rivalries like between the skateboarders and the rollerbladers and the BMXs and all that. Um, but in general, the skateboarding community is awesome and I've always called myself a skater. Um, I'm a skater before a surfer. I used to surf as well. Um, and that was fun. Uh, I would love to get back into that too, but that'll be a little bit later. Um, but yeah, so I've always been a skater at heart and skater in actual fact, but early days. And you know, even at times where we tried to make our own boards. <laughs> but anyway, I came across this channel's Braille 
and I love the message that they say, send. And it's just like, just get out there and skate. And it's like, I thought to myself, you know what? I've been, my body has improved so much, I'd love to see if I could do it. And just the more I watch of these guys, the more just the, that bug, that bug, I want to get out and skate, I want to get out and skate. They just kept niggling and niggling. And I watched a couple more videos and like, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm going to buy a, a skateboard. So I ordered a skateboard and it's here. Now, I actually, um, I wanted to get my old setup because I actually went into a skate shop about a month ago or so and there was a reissue of the original Tony Hawk board, the one that I showed you. Uh, mine was purple obviously, but this one was just standard color. But it was, in a, it was a Tony Hawk shape and it was just like, oh yeah. But when I did the math on that and you know, independent trucks and bone wheels and all that sort of stuff and the bearings and yada yada yada, it's gonna cost a little bit more than what I can afford right now. So I'm gonna budget and I'll eventually get it I thought, you know what, I can either just sit around and do nothing and wait until I get that going because I'm trying to start a business and do all this other stuff. <laughs> so it's like skateboarding isn't the highest priority in my budget. And I was like, I can sit there and wait until I get all the parts and all that sort of stuff. Or I can buy a stock board and just get skating. So I jumped online ordered a skateboard thank you to um, Braille for inspiring me to do this because I've been really excited since I've ordered it so I'm gonna unbox my brand new skateboard and do you think you can guess what it is <laughs> woohoo oh, awesome of course, if I'm gonna, I had to go for the Hawk. Alrighty. Yeah, I got a Tony Hawk board. Good old birdhouse. It is a lot smaller than the board I, Tony Hawk board I used to ride. Woo! Okay. Get that off. Uh, the skate tool. Okay, get rid of that. So, this is the board. This is the board that I am going to start learning again on. It is like, wow. So I've got to set it up and all that sort of stuff. Now what I'm going to do to make this, you know, as sort of a, it's like, look, I know I could ollie, yeah, and I can ride. Um, I got no doubt about that. But I saw a video of um, 15 basic tricks that beginners do at, at Braille skateboarding. It actually ends with the kickflip. You know, I, there's a, a couple tricks there. I was like, yeah, I could, I could do that. I'm really confident I can do that. But I'm going to treat this like I'm a total newbie, and you know, as if I've never ridden a skateboard. I am, I am going to start from scratch and learn how to skate. And my goal is to do a kickflip. That's where I, that, you know, of course, when I do a kickflip, I want to keep going. That's just the way skateboarding is. So I'm going to be doing a series of videos and I am going, each one, like some of them might be really short because <laughs> some of the tricks are pretty easy, but some of the tricks I would find really difficult even back at the highlight of when I was skating. I'm going to go through the list and make a video on each one. So some of them will be really short, others could be a bit longer. Part of, you know, so one playlist on my journey of not dead yet is going to be reacquainting myself with skateboarding and seeing if my body can do it and seeing how far I can get things happening. I'm really excited to get onto this board. But yeah, so if you want to know what I'm going to do 
before then I've made the list. I'm going to try and make a video for each trick that was on the Braille 15 beginner moves. Thank you to Braille for inspiring me to do this. I've been really excited. And who knows where I'm going to end up with this journey of the Not Dead Yet channel. But it's been many, many years since I've jumped on one of these properly. It'll be interesting to see where we end up. So that'll be one playlist that I'm going to be doing. That'll be the first playlist is skateboarding. So come along, join me. If you like the idea of it and you want to see me fall on my ass, let's build this up, see where I can get to. But smash like, subscribe so you don't miss it a video and make sure you comment down below tell me what you think am I stupid am I crazy or is this gonna be really fun and yeah and go give Braille some love you know because they're not just inspiring kids to pick up a skateboard they're inspiring old skaters to, to take it back up I'm not old but old school skaters I'll say I'm not old but yeah, this is going to be fun. Anyway guys, come along with me on this journey. Let me know what you think. And hopefully I can inspire somebody out there to do something absolutely crazy. Because guess what? You're not dead yet. So let's do this. <laughs>